Hi there, Anshul. Yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm good too. Thanks. Good. I'm just gonna plug my headphones in to make it easier. Take your time. That's better. Okay, uh, Anshul, where are you calling from? I'm calling from India. Ah, okay. Uh, which part? North, south, east? No. West? No. No. Okay. Um, I'm just 80 kilometers away from the national capital. From where, sorry? The... I'm 80 kilometers far away from national capital, Delhi. Ah, oh, I see. Ah, okay, cool. How are things there at the moment? Ah, With uh, regards to COVID. COVID is, yeah, COVID is under control now. Good. Uh, two months ago, it was a little difficult. It was scary. But yeah. now it is not scary. The people are safe. There are uh, no much, not much more cases. And uh, the pandemic is under control now. Oh, brilliant. Because all you hear on the news is bad news. You know? Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> good, good. And but, is that because uh, of the vaccination? Have they been doing the vaccination process? Yes, vaccination is good, doing well. And, mm. you know, uh, the doses are increasing. And mm -hmm. the people are getting vaccinated soon and soon. As in, yeah. as in when they are getting time, they're getting the schedule, they are getting vaccinated. And the government is increasing the quantity of the doses so that a maximum of the population can get vaccinated. And how about yourself? Have you been vaccinated? Actually, I got COVID positive two months uh, ago. Oh, wow. So I got to know from the doctor that uh, when we got COVID positive, then we shouldn't have the vaccinate. We shouldn't get vaccinated uh, around somewhere around three months. All right. I didn't know that. Oh. And how did it? How did COVID affect you? Because it affects everyone differently, doesn't it? It affected me just like a fever. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I know it's, it's. I had nothing too scary. Nothing scary about it. Good. I was just having the cold and fever, and yeah. that went for uh, three days only. Actually, oh, wow. when I was when I recovered from the situation, I got my test. I get my I got myself tested after yeah. the recover after the recovering and I got positive. <laughs> I just oh, stayed wow. in the lockdown at my home. Yeah. Yes, I didn't take anything, any kind of medicine. No, nothing. Nothing. Wow, not even paracetamol. Not even paracetamol. Oh wow, legend. <laughs> well, I'm glad it didn't I affect believe, you badly. Uh, I believe in Ayurvedic medicines, so ah, I took the yes. Uh, what, exa what, what exactly did you take? I'm really interested in that. Uh, you know, uh, you might have heard the name of uh, one of the Ayurvedic firm in India, uh, Patanjali, mm -hmm. an yeah. Indian company, and uh, they have made certain uh, medicine for, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for we can say, for stopping the COVID, for yeah. uh, boosting our immune system, and that's called, uh, what's the name was, I forgot the name. Uh, I forgot the name of that medicine. So mm -hmm. I took that. That was a kit of some uh, three types of medicine differently. One was mm -hmm. oil that mm -hmm. we had to put in our nose and two yeah. medicines were there. One medicine I had to take before meal and the second yeah. one I had to take after meal. Ah, I got the name Coronil. The name is Coronil. I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's, an Indian, it's an Indian medicine. You will, uh, and I, don't, I, I think that has not got in, that has not got the approval for international selling. They but are trying, yeah, they're they're trying, trying to get they it. have not got yet. Because I, I spent uh, one month in India before and uh, I went to like a yoga, I, I got my okay. yoga teacher training. Okay. And it was all the food was all uh, natural foods and uh, they taught us a little bit about Ayurvedic medicine. Okay. Um, but when I was there and I was eating like the, the diet, they said it was an Ayurvedic diet. I lost so much weight and I felt oh, so, really? so, so good. I, oh, like no really? sugar, no salt, no alcohol, no coffee, tea. And uh, I, fe I felt amazing uh, with the oh, food that we ate. Exactly. Uh, that Nazik. Sorry? A place called Nazik. Nazik, I think in Maharashtra. Yes. Near to Mumbai. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's where I went. Yeah. Okay. I Rishik- loved it. Rishikesh is the place in India that's so popular about this yoga culture. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, have you been there? No, I haven't been there no. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I went I went to um somewhere a little bit less uh crowded, I guess. Yeah, I chose I chose that one. Um it was like kind of in the mountains. Okay. Because I wanted I wanted to do it like kind of in a quiet place like um okay, okay. With, with not so many people. Rishikesh is Rishikesh is the same that you're talking about. Yeah. The same place is there. It is uh, surrounded uh, with the Gunga <laughs> river and uh, the totally hilly area and peaceful mm-hmm. and quiet. Absolutely but I think quiet. I think a lot of people go there, though, don't they? Uh, uh, the North Indians go there only. Ah, okay. Yeah, but uh, and, the Nordic is, I think, West India. Western yeah. Canada. Yeah, yeah. But uh, sorry, what is the name of that place again? Can you tell me? Rishikesh. Rishikesh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in UK. Yeah, I, I have heard of it, um, but I've not, I've not been. You may. You should go there. Yeah, when when we can travel again, I will definitely go back to India because I want to I, I want to study that. yoga more. I think uh, the international travel has been resumed. Really? Oh, I, I must so. I must check. You yeah, must, I must check. check. Uh, you must check. Mm. So uh, tell me something about Ireland. You're from Ireland. Yeah, I'm from the north of Ireland. Um, Ireland, England, UK. Uh, what, what are the relation between these three? Well, Southern Ireland is like part of the EU. Okay. Um, and Northern Ireland and England. Uh, so it, Northern Ireland is um, part of the UK. And okay. obviously we, we have come out of the EU. Okay. Yeah. So Southern Ireland is still a part of the European Union. Okay. Um, so you mean to say? Northern U- uh, Ireland and Southern Ireland, these two are different countries. Well, <laughs> uh, it's really complicated. Yes, th- they are classed as two different countries because Northern Ireland is a part of the UK and okay. Southern Ireland is not. And it's part of the EU, but it's mm. one, it, like, it's one landmass. It's still one, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's okay. it's not well, it's not divided or anything. It's just it's one island. Okay. But the so situation is quite complicated. England, what about but England it, and Ireland? Are these two same country or different? No, uh, England and Ireland are next to each other. They are separate islands. They are two different okay. islands. Yeah. Okay. So two separate governments are, are there. Yeah, that we have a local government in Northern Ireland, uh, different to uh, in England. Yeah, different. Okay. England and PM it, is different, and your PM is different. Yeah, and okay. um, the the culture in Northern Ireland is different to England. Okay. Mm. It's more. I would say it's much more uh, religious. Okay. And more family oriented. Okay. Um, so it's yeah, it's got its own little culture, which is okay. quite different to to England, and obviously okay. we talk we speak differently, as well. And then in the south of Ireland, uh, that's different again, um, okay. because they still they still speak Gaelic a lot in the south. Okay. Yeah, but in Northern Ireland, it's um, the Gaelic is still there, but it's kind of been overtaken uh, by English. Okay. Yeah. So the uh, the official language of Northern Ireland is English only, or English, English, English and Gaelic, English and Gaelic, Gaelic. Uh huh. I'll Gaelic. take it. Okay. okay. Great. Great. Language. So, what about the travel restrictions uh, between Ireland and uh, England? Do we <laughs> anyone can travel like its own country, or we do we have to take certain permissions to travel to England or not? Uh, you mean f- from between uh, England and Northern Ireland? Yes. Yeah, England from England to Northern Ireland, uh, you don't really need, you don't even need a passport, just some photo ID. Okay. Because it's, okay. it's 
the same same territory uh, but from England to Southern Ireland is different it's different yeah you, yeah, you would need to have your passports okay to travel. The, same, yeah. the same is the case in India too really uh, we are going to Nepal or Bhutan these two are different countries but we don't need passport we can mm -hmm. go uh, through our own ID like right. whatever national ID we have we can mm -hmm. keep that with us and we mm -hmm. can go there easily yeah so you can cross problem. cross there's no border restrictions for you guys yeah the forces are there but we can okay. cross the border easily yeah. there is no we just yeah. go in just go in get mm -hmm. your uh, visa and uh, permitted get your visa uh -huh. permit from them after right. going inside their country you can get it done you will mm -hmm. have to tell that how many days you want to stay uh, are you single or you're with family where are you staying something like that but yeah any kind of pre approval to go there oh that's good yeah, yeah. I, i've always wanted to go to nepal i haven't been there either i didn't i didn't too i'd love to go it looks really pretty really beautiful when you come to india meet me I, I yeah. <laughs> travel guide <laughs> <laughs> not not travel guide no go i'm just traveling. kidding i'm just kidding go, go travel go we'll yeah. go together yeah. Yeah, a lot of my friends uh, that travel to India, they went to Nepal and they said, you have to go. It's it's so peaceful and really nice. It is, it is. I have heard from a few, Nepali, a few Nepalis who live uh, surrounding my area and they uh -huh. said that the, the water is so clean over there. Yeah. In the rivers, uh, we can drink the water of the river. Oh, wow. It's so clean. And India, in India, it's not. Absolutely. I know you can't drink the tap water in India. We cannot drink. We can do. We can't do anything. Yeah. From this like you, I, you can't even boil the water to drink it, can you? No, 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 no. no. That, that needs to be filtered with the different stages. Wow. To, to be uh, able to use it. Wow. I, I would have thought they would have done something uh, to to make it drinkable by now. Obviously, we drink that water. The water comes through the system, through the government pipelines that we receive. That comes from yeah. the river, but that comes through the uh, plantation of treatment right. plantation. We get that treated by the government, and then we treat uh, it again at our home. Wow! Wow! Then it becomes drinkable. That's crazy. <laughs> really crazy. But, yeah, but I was gonna because you couldn't afford to buy water all the time. Yes, definitely we cannot. Just couldn't, yeah. It just wouldn't make sense. But okay. um, so, have you been working from home, or yes, have you been? From, you have been from home only. Yeah. What's your job? Ah, uh, I'm an English teacher too. Ah, cool. W where do you teach? Which kind of school? Uh, actually, before this epidemic, uh, I used to teach at school. I was mm -hmm. working with a company uh, which was in the communication, English communication only. Mm -hmm. They hire uh, people, they train them, and they send their associate at school to teach students. So mm -hmm. I, went, I was on behalf of that company, I was teaching in schools. But mm -hmm. when lockdown happened, I started teaches, uh, teaching online, online at my home, taking classes at my home. So is that like younger children or different age groups? Anyone can come. My part is to teach communication only. I don't uh -huh. teach subjective English. So I teach communications, the spoken English. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyone can come. I generally get the students of schooling uh, from mm -hmm. 8 to 12 students I get to teach. Oh, I get okay. My students during the day are like age 7 and 8, primary school. Okay, primary yeah. school. Yeah, but that, that's a nice age, I think. Okay, no, yeah. uh, 7 or 8. But I don't. They're, they're not so naughty at that age. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the students in this age group, they are naughty. Really? Really. Yeah. <laughs> when we are in front of them, when we are before them, they become more naughty. Right. Oh, no. Uh oh. Just got cut off. Mm -hmm. Oh, only 10 seconds. Sorry, Angel, we got cut off. 